Okay, this video is to get you going with the Mad Lib story using Python. So I've just logged into my uh, computer in the lab. I'm using number seven again. I'll maximize that. And I will open up Python by typing in PYTH and use the IDLE Python GUI. And I'll take that shell, touch the edge of the screen, file, new file. Touch the other side of the screen with this one. So we got halves. Now I've already typed it. I'm just going to paste it right here to. Oops. Let's see here. I have it somewhere else. Let's just go like that. Copy. And so I want to talk about this. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. We're going to run it and then talk about what it does here. So first, when I run it, my OneDrive with Colorado Springs. All right, I just paused the video while I was saving it to save some time. but. So then after I ran it, this pops up on the screen. It says, this is a Mad Lib story where your input is required. First, type in the name of a month and now it stops and it's waiting for some input. Why? Because it did what I told it here. Oops, it did this. And then it did this. First, type in the name of a month. And now because of this input command, that tells the computer, okay, after you print this on the screen, just stop and have a blinking cursor. Notice I put a little space right there so that when, I, when the user types in um, something, it's spaced a little. It's not right up against the, the period. Now, when I hit enter, what do you expect to happen? The next input command you put out on the screen. So I hit enter. Okay, now type the name of a character to be used. So now provide any city, landmark, location. So I'll type in Pikes Peak. Oops. Not Pike's Pike. What ingredient do you like to cook with? I love garlic. And what's your favorite color? So, so you can see all five of these are requirements for the user to type something in to answer the question. So of course I am true to Coronado, not just one color. Uh oh. And is a uh, reserved word. No, it should take it. Let's see. Let's see if it takes it. Yeah, it took it. And then down here, there's a print statement that says, okay, here's your Mad Lib story. On a beautiful morning in, whatever I typed up here for month gets replaced. On a beautiful morning in January, see, Superman was hiking to Pike's Peak. That's what I typed down here. So depending on whatever the user types up here, the story will change. It'll be, it'll be whatever the user decides. So um, that's a Mad Lib story. Now there's one other thing I want to do. I didn't like how it just output really fast. I want this thing to, um, first I'm going to hit enter to exit the program. Okay. But now I'm going to maximize this. I just want to show you guys something, something new really quickly here. We can import modules. And in this case, it's called a time module. And it's wherever I want this to pause. I want it to what we call sleep. And so I'm going to type in time.sleep. This is a sleep function. And I want it to sleep for, oh, let's give it a second, maybe one second here. Now I'm just going to copy this function. Copy. Then it says, okay, here's your Mad Lib story, dot, dot, dot. And instead of it just printing this on the screen right away, I want it to sleep. Give it enough time so that the user reads this in their head and they actually acknowledge what it says and then it puts the next line. So I'm going to give it uh, three seconds. And then I'm going to have it sleep in between each line. Let's have it sleep another three seconds here. And one more. Okay, so now when I run it, maximize this here really quickly here month February 
Um, oops. Uh, let's do Batman. Let's do... I like Pike's Peak. Ingredient, garlic. And I'll just say gold. I hit enter. There, see it slept for a minute. Okay, here's your Mad Lib story. One, two, three. On a beautiful morning in February, Batman was hiking. One, two, three. See it pausing. Makes it much more enjoyable for the use for the user to read. Alright. So that's it for this one. I'll I'll end it right here, just leaving this on the screen. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I want you guys to, you know, come up with your own story. Um, from like right here to here, try try coming up with something more original instead of just copying my story. If you're completely lost and you can't get it to work, if you need to copy mine, that's fine. But it'll be more interesting if you guys just kind of write up your own little story. Okay?